Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given this MOS differential pair and we have been given that two MOSFETs are perfectly matched. And here, we have been also given the device parameters of these two MOSFETs. So here, we have been asked to find the differential gain of this amplifier. So if you have followed the recent video on the main channel, then we have seen that using the small signal analysis, we can easily find the differential gain of this amplifier. Now we know that this input to this differential amplifier consists of two components. That is common mode component and the differential component. So for the small signal analysis, this common mode component will act as a zero. Moreover, we will consider all the DC sources in the circuit as zero, while this current source will also act as a open circuit. And this node over here will act as a virtual ground. That means since the circuit is symmetrical, so this node will act as a virtual ground. And this virtual ground concept is valid for any point in the circuit which falls on the axis of the symmetry. For example, suppose we have a two resistors at the source terminal and if these two resistors are equal, then this node over here which falls on the axis of symmetry will also act as a virtual ground. So using this concept of the symmetry, we can easily find the gain of this differential amplifier. So here, as I said, for the small signal analysis, we will consider all the DC sources in the circuit as zero. Moreover, this node over here will act as a virtual ground. And for the input, we will assume that the common mode component is zero. That means for the small signal analysis, if we see the equivalent circuit, then it will look like this. Now here, this 10 kilo ohm resistor can also be drawn as a series combination of two 5 kilo ohm resistors, right? So now if you see, then on this axis of symmetry, this node over here will also act as a virtual ground. So in this MOS differential amplifier, when the two MOSFETs are identical and the current source is also ideal, then using the half symmetry, we can easily find the gain of this differential amplifier. So in such case, when the circuit is symmetric, then instead of considering the entire circuit, we can consider only the half circuit. And for this half circuit, we can find the voltage gain. So the differential gain of this entire circuit will be same as the gain of this half circuit. So now, using this half symmetry, let us find the gain of this half circuit. So if you see this circuit, then it is the common source amplifier along with the source resistor. So on the main channel, for the common source amplifier, we have seen that its voltage gain can be given as this Rd divided by 1 divided by Gm plus Rs. So here, this resistor is a drain resistor, while this resistor is equal to load resistor. Let's say it is equal to Rl and this resistor is equal to Rs. So here, these two resistors Rd and Rl are connected in the parallel connection. That means for the given circuit, this voltage gain is equal to this Rd parallel RL divided by this 1 divided by Gm plus Rs. So here, we already know the value of this Rd, RL as well as the Rs. So the only thing which we need to find is the transconductance of the half circuit. So we know that the transconductance of the MOSFET can be given as square root of 2 times ID times mu n times Cox times this W divided by L. So here we have been already given the device parameter and this drain current ID is the bias current of this differential pair. So here due to the symmetry this 0.8 milliampere current will get equally divided between the two MOSFETs. That means here this ID1 is equal to ID2 is equal to 0.4 milliampere. So with the help of it, we can say that this transcurrentus GM is equal to square root of 2 times ID times mu n times Cox times this W divided by L. So here, if you put the value of ID as 0.4 milliampere, then this transcurrentus GM is equal to square root of 2 times 0.4 milliampere times this mu n times Cox times W divided by L, which is equal to 4 milliampere per volt square. That is equal to square root of 
टू विच इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट सेवन एट नाइन मिली एम्पियर पर वोल्ट सो दैट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस ट्रांसकनेक्टेंस एंड इफ यू सी द वन डिवाइड बाई जी एम दैन दिस वन डिवाइड बाई जी एम विल बी रफली इक्वल टू फाइव फिफ्टी नाइन ओम दैट मीन्स द वोल्टेज गेन इज इक्वल टू दिस आर डी पैरल आर एल डिवाइड बाय दिस वन डिवाइड बाय जी एम प्लस आर एस सो हियर दिस आर डी एंड आर एल आर फाइव किलो ओम एंड द पैरल कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ दिस फाइव किलो ओम विल बी इक्वल टू टू पॉइंट फाइव किलो ओम दैट इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फाइव हंड्रेड ओम एंड हियर दिस वन ओवर जी एम इज फाइव फिफ्टी नाइन ओम वाइल दिस आर एस इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी ओम सो इफ यू कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस वोल्टेज गेन then this voltage gain will come around as 4.1 and the differential gain of this differential amplifier will also be equal to 4.1 that means we can say that the differential gain of this amplifier is roughly equal to 4.1